A very important thing in golf that holds so many people back is the understanding of what impact is and the proper focus, right? So let's start with the grass whip so that you understand what really impact is all about. So if I'm cutting grass through, right, the sole of this grass whip is cutting along the surface of the grass. If I go through the grass at this point here, notice the ball is just going to roll above that grass whip. So if I do the same thing with the golf club, and I'm, you know, what you need to also understand is when you're cutting grass, you're sending grass in a specific direction. So if I wanted to send grass this way with my lawnmower, there's how I'm performing it. So the sole of the club is brushing the grass and the energy is sending the grass in that direction. So if we look at what that looks like in slow motion, the club is coming down, the hands come through first, keeps coming down to cut the dandelion stem. So notice the sole of the club hasn't even gotten through the dandelion stem yet. The ball is in the way. So the ball is going to meet the face and leap off the face. Then the club cuts the stem, and then it cuts the grass and the ground, and then it finally exits the ground. saw that in slow motion here with multiple angles. And this is really important for you to understand. So we're collecting the ball from here and we're releasing the ball in the direction that we want it to go. So if the ball itself is your target, well then why would you continue that way if that's your target? So the weight shift, the body clearing, all that good stuff is going to happen if you're taking the ball and sending it to the target. I had one arm. Here's where my arm club unit is passing. If I have two arms and I just let gravity place the club in both directions, so I'm cutting grass in both directions, notice the club wants to pass here. Bring that in. So now if all I do is I allow the arm club unit to track this arc, let it track, let it track, well now we've got beautiful contact on the way to the target and we're hitting greens. So collecting the grass and sending the grass out there means my eyes are on the grass here. I can put my eyes on the grass in front of the ball, on the grass just inside the ball, on the grass between the club and the ball. And I want to take that grass and I want to shoot it into the screen here. So I'm imagining grass clippings staining the screen. So I'm, my mind is over here and I'm taking this and sending it over there versus that's my target. There's no place to go. Why would I shift my weight and clear my hips and do all that when that's my target? So that is a major, massive mental object that is in your way, right? So the golf ball itself is way too light, way too small to be in the way of you sending grass clippings, right? So then when you get to hey, I'm sending grass clippings to target. Yep, that was it. I sent grass clippings to target. Okay, can the ball stop me from sending grass clippings to target? No, <laughs> it's too small, it's too light. So now it's just gonna slow me down a millisecond or two. So my eyes are in the front of the ball and I'm sending grass clippings and sending grass clippings and the ball got in the way of me sending grass clippings over there. 
super nice contact with the golf ball right in the center of the face. And the rest is just, hey, how open or closed does that face need to be so I can go in that direction? So when you're playing tennis, and this we had a wonderful beginner lesson this morning, and the person who was taking the lesson, um, she's a terrific tennis player. So I said, all right, we have a sword and we're going to slash the sword through a bamboo shoot. She goes like that. I said, okay, we got a bamboo shoot above our heads and we're going to slash the sword through there. And I said, what does that remind you of? And she says, that's my tennis serve. So we have something to cut through and there's this beautiful release of energy beyond that. So I said, well, when you're looking at the tennis ball as you're getting ready to do your serve, where's your attention? And she says, service box. I want that tennis ball to go over there. And she didn't hesitate. And she says, when I'm playing tennis, I want to uh, continue my movement in the direction that I want the tennis ball to go. So many of you taking tennis lessons, if somebody says continue in that direction, they're giving you some really good information. So if I do the same thing, when you take a section of grass, that's you know a few thousand blades of grass, we're gonna take that and we're gonna send that in that direction. So you notice the collection part the legs have a lot to do with that. So you can't really stay at the same level during the swing. As you can see here, if you look at Cameron Young, you'll notice he's got a certain knee flex out of dress. And then watch at impact here how his knee flex is deeper. What's that all about? Well, I'm collecting the ball and grass from here and watch past impact how we're extending out there. So it's collect, release, collect, release, whip the grass clippings, whip the grass clippings. So if I'm up here, if I make a swing towards my target, I can't collect anything. If I'm over here, I'm going to collect the top of the ball. If I'm over here, I may graze a little bit of grass and send, you know, very small grass clippings out there. And if I'm low enough, it feels like I'm going to send some healthy grass clippings in that direction, maybe a little bit of dirt. So I'm going to use some nice momentum to send my grass clippings out there to my target. So the rest is just open or close in the face. That's it. Try that again. See my grass clippings? Notice that one was a little bit open. And then Goldilocks that in between. Send the grass clippings. Send the grass clippings. And now we should be pretty much all over that flag stick. There you have it. So those other missed shots, I have a chip shot to make. That one there, I've got a birdie putt to make. And that's how it basically goes. So collect and release instead of hit at. That can't be your target. This is the intersection. We send the grass clippings out there through that intersection and into that picture. And now we've just removed a major obstacle out of your way. Important. See you soon.